But if you haven't figured this out already, and I'm just I'm going to be political just for a minute. In our in our government today, I don't care if you have an R or a D next to your name. Almost every single one of them is all just big government and for just more more stuff, more spending. And the different one of the biggest differences between how we should be liberal and a good form of liberal and what in the way that other people are liberal today. Today's liberals are great at spending everybody else's money. Right? But that's not really liberal. Like we, we, when, you, when we're being liberal, we should be liberal with our own stuff, right? If you, you know, being generous, you, you have your goods and your stuff and you want to share that with people, you want to help people out, you'd be very liberal in doing so and, and helping others and just being real free with the things that you have and being able to help other people. And that's a good attribute. That's a positive thing. But when you say, you know what, I don't really have that much, but this guy's got a lot. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to, here, give me, give me some of that because I need to help out this person, this person, and this person. And then you call yourself a liberal. Well, that, that doesn't work because you're, you're, you're taking someone else's goods to do that. And, you know, through the government, that's what they do with taxation. They just say, well, you know, we want to make all these programs. I don't have the money to do that. So we're just going to force you all to, to pay for this to be done. And then see, look, I'm a good person because now I'm making everybody else pay for this person, whatever, instead of allowing individuals to decide whether or not they want to be charitable, they want to be liberal, they want to be whatever. Um, and oftentimes you'll see the, the really vile people that are called liberal today. And it is. I mean, who's, who are the ones pushing for the sodomite marriages and, and all of the acceptance and tolerance and promotion of the most vile, wicked people, it's who's known as the liberals. And the Bible refers to this. There's going to come a time where the vile person shall be no more called liberal. And I can't wait for that day. <laughs> it's going to be great. Because liberal itself is not a bad word. If you look up this classic liberalism, it's a very good term. But to, to everything's been kind of turned on its head these days. Turn, if you would, to Proverbs chapter 11. We'll start to look at how we should be liberal. It's a very good attribute to have. It's a very good virtue to have to be liberal. I hope we have a church full of liberals in this sense when we read Proverbs. I don't even want someone calling me a conservative anymore these days because you think of the word conservative means you're conserving what, where, what things are. I don't want things to be the way they are now. Maybe at one point conservative could have been good if things were going really good and had good values and good morals and stuff. But now it's, I don't want to conserve things this way either. I want, I want to push back and just go back to the old paths and, and have more righteousness and more freedom and, you know, whatever all that. I'm, I'm not going to get off on a political rant tonight. So let's, let's look at the Bible. Proverbs 11. See, and the great thing about the Bible is and Scripture and truth is that if you have this right, if you have the knowledge, the political will just follow anyways. Once you have this knowledge and this wisdom, you let that lead your politics. You don't, you don't ever have to teach politics from the, from the pulpit because this is the guide. This is what's going to help you to, to make the right choices and understand what's right and what's wrong and see people for who they really are and see the, the, the wicked and, and, you know, these wicked people out there that are just making money off others and just will take gifts, take bribes. I mean, read that in Proverbs about the, the person that takes gifts. And it's referring to bribes. And look at, look at how many people in Congress, in the government, how much money they have and where does that come from? And all the sweet deals that are being made that... that help out the, the big government or the big corporations and kind of stamp out the competition and they're getting these kickbacks and whatever. There's all, there's all kinds of garbage going on in government today and it's, and it's disgusting. But I think we're just getting what we deserve because when the people's heart turns away from the Lord, what are you going to get? When the people's hearts are wicked overall, I think it's going to be reflected in the leadership. 